Let's see the standard case of solving a triangle using the law of sines. And what I mean by standard is where you only get uh, one possible triangle, one solution. So angle C is 58 degrees, side C is 10, side A is 6. We can use the law of sines because I can use angle C with side C and then I have one other piece of information. And so the first thing we'll try to find is the other half of A. So we'll try to find angle A. And if I want to solve for an angle, I need to use the version where angles are on top. So I'll use sine of A over side A, which is 6, equals sine of C over side C, which is 10. And to solve for angle A, you're going to multiply both sides by 6. So you'll have 6 sine of 58 degrees over 10. And then you'll take the sine inverse to get A by itself. So we'll take sine inverse of all of this. And this is where you have to be careful. Uh, your calculator will give you 30.6 degrees, but you have to consider the possibility that it could be the supplement of this 149.4 degrees. So we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so why don't we name uh, this angle A sub 1 and this angle A sub 2. And at this point, we have two possibilities for our triangle. I could have these three pieces of information that were given along with this angle, or I could have these three along with this angle. And I would solve each of the, these based on uh, A1 or A2. But there is a problem. A sub 2 is 149.4, and angle C is 58. If you add those together, you get something bigger than 180. So this is not a possibility for angle A, because if it were, you would not be able to get a triangle where the angles add up to 180. So this is the only possibility for angle A. So we don't have to name it A sub 1 anymore. We can just call it our angle A. Now I know angle C and angle A. I can easily find angle B by subtracting those from 180 to get 91.4 degrees. So I have angle A, angle B. I have side C, angle C, and side A. So now I just need angle B, or sorry, side B. So I will use this, and I will use the two pieces that matched at the beginning to find angle B. Sorry, I keep saying angle B, I mean side B. So I'll say side B over the sine of angle B equals side C over the sine of angle C. And I'll solve for side B by multiplying both sides by the sine of 91.4 degrees. And when I put this into my calculator, I get approximately 11.8. So now I know all six parts of the triangle, the three given parts and the three parts that we had to find.